And this morning, this is an exclusive Expo highlight. One of Australia's leading hairdressers, Jane Wilde, who's joined us before, and prop maker, Govinda Webster, join me. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Congratulations, Jane. You got Salon Team of the Year at the Expo. Do, well done. Do, do. That's my, always my favourite one, because I love my team, so that's Fantastic. Yeah. This is unique. So before we show everyone, just tell me about this concept you, you came up well, with. Well, I've been a little bit obsessed by these dollies for a very long time, and um, I just always wanted to bring it to life would be a dream of mine. I was very lucky to be in, put in touch with this very clever man <laughs> who I just shared my ideas with, and he nailed it, can and I tell you? And this is the opening of the whole The Expo opening of the Saturday night show I was invited to do as I was reigning hairdresser of the year at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, so I was, I was um, very, very kindly asked to um, open the show. And you call them? Poppets. Okay, let these the, are my poppets. These are your poppets, and the first poppet <laughs> is the geisha. My geisha poppet. poppet. Yes. Okay, we've my got five of them. Poppet. So let's. Ha oh wow! Here she comes. And the one on the right is another <laughs> little poppet. Oh, that it's our to. poppet. <laughs> this is our poppet, our permanent poppet. <laughs> now tell me, tell me how you. Obviously, the costuming is fabulous, but the head. Is just the puppet head's fantastic. Yes, well, Govinda actually made the head, so I'll let him tell you all okay, about Govinda, that. Okay, Govinda, uh, explain this to me. So, the head originally was a large sculpt, uh, which we then made a mould of fiberglass mould, silicon mm -hmm. as well, and then making multiples. So, we had to punch out six of them. Each of them is a little bit different as it's a handmade object. Uh, also making them hollow so we could then uh, fix in the brace and attach it to the model. And you did all sorts of cultures in terms of dressing up, which we will see in a moment. How long did it take you to do the hair, Joe? The hair? You actually did the hair on this. Yeah, we've done the hair. So about three months wow. it's been taking us. Yeah, and it's all um, based on tapestry. Mm -hmm. um, matting, different size tapestry matting. This particular one was hand woven all through larger tapestry matting. What did you make the hair out of? It's jumbo hair, so it's fake hair, nylon hair, and we just wove it through this sort of tapestry mesh. Okay, mesh. as soon as we get a, get yeah, we're just having a close look. She's got a rather large head. She <laughs> has. Got, it does feel a screen. She blocks views. So if, um, as our as our next puppet joins us, let's have a, a little bit of a, a close up. So maybe we could uh, thank you, Geisha puppet. There you go. We just don't want it to fall off the stage there. No. So uh, our next puppet this morning is the. Um, uh, oh, which is this one? The this corporate. Is corporate. Corporate. Okay. Puppet. Before we get onto corporate puppet, this is the base. Yes. Correct. Of, of so what we you wove did. through the hair like the little patch there that I've done, and then obviously then we pop, pop it on. Govinda. Thank you for walking through my shot, Jamie. <laughs> that was and very good. Where to go. <laughs> I'm with a lady with a giant head. I don't know where to go. <laughs> He hasn't been in TV long, just to help him out. Um, okay, this I think is amazing. So where did you get the concept for corporate from? The corporate was just something that we fancied doing because we just thought, well, it's a bit of the norm. The others were a little bit, you know, out there. But I want that gold raincoat. Oh, well, beautiful <laughs> styling. What brought the poppets to life, I think, was the, like just the crown in glory, was the styling. Emily McGregor styled them. Oh, wonderful. And all the outfits are from Grandma Takes a Trip. But so, the, the, yes, the eyes, Govinda, just tell me how you achieved the, the eyes. The eyes are a vac form plastic, so it's like a, a heat forming over a, a, a buck, we call it. Um, but the, we've actually set back the iris, so you get a couple of layers of shine oh, in wow. there. Because we couldn't make them out of a resin how we would usually make them because of weight factors. Very, with, very with the convincing. the model wearing it, we've got to keep the weight as low as possible. Indeed. And next is the mod poppet. I'm mod loving this. Are poppet. you allowed to admit you remember the mod the first time round? Yes. <laughs> yes, because I sort of do too. Yes. yes. i got to say, look at that. The, the uh, styling is fabulous, but the hair again here the little is wonderful. And do it, who did the eye makeup? And makeup was its actual eye makeup, and that's Isabella Schmidt. Wow. who's a makeup artist that we work with a lot. So with that nylon hair, you call it jumbo hair? Well, this is ni a nylon wefts of hair. So that was mm -hmm. then, that was actually um, so machine sewed. I'll hold uh, eventually to this camera over here. But it's machine Beverly sewed. Beverly Holmes is a mother of um, my, my business partner, Ali. Um, actually machine sewed all of this, oh. this the haircut hair She on. That's work. Which was hours and hours too. That and is so just it was a big team work. effort. Big team effort. Just amazing. amazing. 